Hello and welcome back to Trendsetter Designs logo help video. In this video we'll see how to edit text and colors in Adobe Photoshop. So let's open uh, the PSD folder and here you can see two uh, different file types. Uh, one uh, optimized for printing and one optimized for uh, screen. Uh, we can open the files by just double clicking on the icon. If you have Photoshop open, of course you can use file open command or you can just simply drag your file directly into the Photoshop and it will open up. You can see different color, color versions of the logo by simply turning layer groups on and off. Each layer group has a name of the color version. Now select the version you want to work with and open the color group and that you can do just by simply pressing this little triangle here. Okay, why don't we begin with the color? To edit the colors you can either uh, first select the color you wish to change, double click on, uh, I'm sorry, double click on the uh, layer you want to change the color of, add your own colors, add your own values or find the value from uh, picking through this uh, area, press OK and here's the color. Now uh, you will have to do um, individual edits and edit each and every layer because that's how uh, CS5 works. So uh, in order to make things a little bit shorter so we don't have to click on each and every layer we can utilize uh, foreground and background shortcuts. To set the foreground color shortcut, double click on the set the foreground color e icon in the tools panel, then add your own values for the color. This will help us uh, basically work with two colors at the same time. Uh, if you need the second color, repeat the process. So I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. So now I have set the foreground and the background color. In order to utilize this shortcut, I'm going to select the layer with the color I wish to change. And if I want to change it in a foreground color, I'm going to change it. I'm going to use the shortcut Alt Backspace. And if I want to uh, change it with the background color, I'm going to use the shortcut Control Backspace. So. Alt, Backspace, Foreground Color, Control, Backspace, Background Color. And basically you do the same thing for all the layers uh, in which you wish to change the colors. Now let's move on to the text. Um, first let's make sure we have the Characters panel open. If you don't see the Characters panel, go to Window, Character, and it will open up. Now that we have uh, set that up, uh, in order to edit the text, select the text layer. Now you can double click on the text layer and it will automatically select everything in that text layer. Or select the type tool here from the tools panel and then select the text or the part of the text that you wish to change. Let's say I want to change this, this designs. I'm going to type in Translator Shop. Just gonna move it a little bit and voila I have my text changed. I repeat the process for all the text layers. Now if you want to um, change text further you can use character panel to do it. Uh, here you can change things like font family, font style, size, whether or not you want it to be all caps, small caps, etc. Uh, once you have your edits finished, make sure to save the design and that's it. This was it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this uh, help video and remember if you have any questions about the template or you need any additional help, please feel free to contact me on the email address you can see here. Uh, have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye!